Good morning, friends. Welcome or welcome back to another Faith Field Friday. My name is Tara. For those of you that are new and for those of you that are joining me again, I do thank you guys for coming back. You guys, it has been a really busy week. It's been a kind of weird morning already. Um, I woke up to a phone call from my son. He was a little bit distraught and um, upset about the death of Akira Toriyama. I don't know if you guys know who he is, but for those of you with children, he is the creator of Dragon Ball. And so um, my son is a huge Dragon Ball fanatic. Dragon Ball is anime, kind of cartoon-ish for those of you that aren't familiar. But not just that, you guys. It had me thinking, like, all week I've been hearing about deaths and funerals. And um, we all know that death does not discriminate. We know this, right? So as he was telling me about Akira Toriyama, I also thought about the other um, well-known people in the world that we're familiar with who also passed away. You know, there's a ton of them. But the ones that came to mind was Kobe Bryant, of course, Chadwick Boseman, um, some others that, you know, I don't want to spend too much time focusing on that, but it just had me thinking and in prayer about um, all of us for myself, my son. Um, I did lose my little brother in 2016, and that was really hard for me. I thought about um, this week I saw on Nanika's channel, she did a vlog where she and her family had gotten together to celebrate the life of her aunt. And then I have a close friend, He's also experiencing some close deaths, um, his friends. And you guys, some of these people, they're young, like in their 40s. Um, my little brother, he was in his 30s when he passed away. But I'm saying all of this to say, you guys, we are so blessed. For those of us that are still here, that are able to tune in to Faith Field Friday, we are blessed beyond measure. Um, I don't take for granted each day that God has given me. And I just wanted to bring this to light on today that, you know, God is calling his people home. And I do believe because scripture tells us that all souls belong to God. And so until then, I pray that we all remain steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Amen. So Father God, we come boldly to your throne of grace, just thanking you, O oh God, for this day. We thank you, God, for life, health, and strength, O oh God. We thank you, Lord God, that we won't take for granted, O oh God, the breath that you have bestowed upon us, O oh God, the breath, Lord God, that you have put in our lungs, O oh God. We know that it was not the alarm clock that woke us up this morning, O oh God, and we thank you for it now, Lord God. We pray, O oh God, that you will help us us, Lord God, to not just exist, oh God, but we pray that you will help us to live this beautiful life, Lord God, that you have gifted us, oh God. We thank you for it now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, I know I got a little bit chattery in the beginning, but those are some things that um, has been in my spirit, on my heart. I have been praying for those who are experiencing loss, who's going through it now. I will definitely keep you all in my prayers. Again, um, we know that death does not discriminate. Um, but while we're still here, let's just give God some praise. Let's just do all the things that we know our loving Father would have for us to do. And let's get started and dive into some scripture. All right, we are going to cover scriptures from Friday to Friday. I do have it marked here. Again, I pray that you all are doing well. I'm doing okay. Just, you know, trying to get through the days. Um, so last Friday was March 1st, actually, and it was Philippians 4, 6 through 7. On this sheet, I only wrote out verse 7, which reads, And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Amen. Saturday, 
March 2nd was John 14 and 27, and it reads, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Amen. And then Sunday, Isaiah 26 and 3 reads, You will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you, all those, I'm sorry, all whose thoughts are fixed on you. Amen. And then we get into our new spread, you guys, over here for March that I decorated um, previously. You guys can go back and check out that video where I put all of this together. But Monday was Colossians 3 and 15, and I did um, write the scriptures on the side here and at the bottom. I thought it would save me some room if I put them there instead of here where I'm going to be writing the scriptures. So Monday, Colossians 3 and 15 reads, And let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts, for as members of one body you are called to live in peace, and always be thankful. Amen. Tuesday was Psalms 29, 11, and it reads, The Lord gives his people strength. The Lord blesses them with peace. Amen. And Wednesday, Romans 15 and 13 reads, I pray that God, the source of hope, will find you completely with joy and peace because you trust in him. Then you will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thursday was Proverbs 16 and 7, and it reads, When people's lives please the Lord, even their enemies are at peace with them. Amen. And I did write out Friday, which is Psalm 34 and 14, and it reads, Turn away from evil and do good. Search for peace and work to maintain it. Amen. So I would just write that here in our spot for Friday. Turn away from evil and do good. Search for peace and work to maintain it. Amen. This tells us that there is some work to do to maintain peace in our lives. We don't just find peace and then expect for it to just remain. We have to work to maintain it. Amen. Turn away from evil and do good. Search for peace and work to maintain it. So I'm sorry, you guys. I had to um, cut out the video for a minute because I wrote the same words twice. But for me, this... Um, definitely hits home. For me, working or searching for peace and work to maintain it is like when we set boundaries or when I set boundaries in my life, I am at peace. Like when I don't have boundaries, things can get out of order. I can feel overwhelmed. I can get stressed out and anxiety. But if I search for peace and work to maintain it, Setting boundaries is the work that I need to do to maintain my peace. So that is what we have for Friday. And you guys, I wanted to show you guys my new method of tracking my devotional and my scripture writing. So here you will see I created um, the orange dot that says devotional and then the pink dot that says scripture writing. And I use these Moxie dots here. They're from Moxie Life. I do have the orange and the pink one here. And so we will go back to today is the 8th. Today is actually International Women's Day. So I am going to put an orange dot on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So from Friday to Friday, I know I did my devotional. So I will just... Put a dot here. This dries quickly too, you guys. Maybe I'll put that there, okay? 
And then for my scripture writing, I did that each of these days as well. So I will just do one, two, And I think I'm just going to continue to use um, this monthly layout to keep track of my devotional and scripture writing. So we did that. And I want to read you guys the devotional for today. Since I already crossed it off, let me make sure this is dry. Okay. Our devotional for today which is day 68 into the year. It's titled, Knowing God. To the faithful, you show yourself faithful. To those with integrity, you show integrity. To the pure, you show yourself pure. But to the crooked, you show yourself shrewd, which comes from 2 Samuel 22, 26 through 27. And the love letter from God reads, Beloved daughter, I am a loving father who wants the best for you. I am a God of justice, integrity, and love. I am a God who gives power, peace, and purpose to your life. Your perceptions of me can affect how you receive me. You must remember that I am not like those you encounter on earth. I am trustworthy, and those who have hurt you do not reflect me or my relationship with you. Ask me to open your eyes to see me for who I really am. I want to pour my love into you so you can experience the blessings and benefits of being a daughter of the King. Love your heavenly father. And the reflection reads, how we see God can influence how we receive from him. If we see God as judgmental, we will never experience his grace and mercy. If we see God as unfair, we will never experience his justice. If we see God as hostile, we will constantly walk in fear that he is angry with us. But he is a good and faithful God, not a tyrant. We can trust him to take care of us. Amen. And the treasure of truth reads, how you perceive God is how you will receive God. Amen. Our prayer here reads, Dear God, open your daughter's eyes and heart to be able to receive you as the wonderful, loving father that you truly are. Help her love for you, overcome her fears so that she can walk more closely with you. In Jesus' name, amen. I love this, you guys. Again, for those of you that are new, this is the Thrive Devotional Bible for Women. I will have that link below. I did purchase this from Amazon. It does not come tabbed. I tabbed this myself, but these are also from Amazon. And moving right along, we have our prayer cards here. We are going to pull our scripture focus for next week, which I am now giving the title of our power scripture. So that is what I'm calling it because I have a section in my faith planner titled Power Scripture. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is where I will be placing these cards and doing some scripture focus writings over there in my planner. These, you guys, are from Dollar Tree. I did mention that in my previous video where I was setting up for the month of March. So we're going to pull our Power Scripture for next week. I'm excited about this. <laughs> I do love the power scriptures. Okay, let's go here. This one is kind of standing out to me. Let's see what this one says. Love is patient. Love is kind. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. 1 Corinthians 13, 4, and 7. Amen. Amen. So I will just go here to the power scripture section. This was from last week. I do have some things written there, but I will paper clip this for next week. And as things come into my spirit and as I focus on this scripture, I will do some writings back here. Amen. 
All right, you guys, I believe that is all we have for today. I do thank you guys again for joining me. Um, I pray that you have a blessed day, a blessed weekend, a blessed week ahead. Father God, I thank you for the souls that are gathered here on today, Lord God, to learn more of your scripture, oh God. I thank you, Lord God, and I pray that you will give us traveling mercies, Lord God, to and from every destination, oh God. I ask for your divine protection over us all, Lord God, through this day, Lord God, through this weekend and the days ahead, oh God. I thank you now, Lord God. It is an honor and a privilege, Lord God, to be your servant on today and every day, and I thank you for it, Lord God. Have your way in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys again. Lord willing, I will see you back here for another Faith Field Friday next Friday. Remember to keep praying, keep planning, and make it pretty. Mm -hmm.